Hi guys, this is Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, today I am going to share an interview experience of Chandan. So guys, he applied for the role of systems engineer in Infosys for the package of 3.6 lakh per annum. And Chandan is from mechanical branch from the batch 2022. So his online test was on 15th May 2022. After that, his interview was on 10th June. And on 4th July 2022, he got his offer letter. So guys, here you can clearly observe that from his online test to offer letter, it took around 2 months. So guys, I just wanted to tell you that the hiring process of Infosys is slow. So guys, have some patience for the results. So now let's see what were the questions interviewer asked him. So first, interviewer asked him to show his ID proof. So you can use your Aadhaar card or college ID as your ID proof. After that, the interviewer asked him to introduce himself. So guys, in my previous videos, I have already discussed how to introduce yourself. So you can refer that video and I will also provide the video links in the description box. So here Chandan didn't mention any programming language. So the next question interviewer asked him was, do you know any programming language? So he mentioned basics of C and Salesforce. So after his answer, the next question interviewer asked him was, what are the types of pointers? So there are seven types of pointers, which are null pointer, void pointer, dangling pointer, wild pointer, near pointer, far pointer and huge pointer. But we majorly use these four pointers because these three pointers are not so useful these days. So you can mention only these four pointers in your interviews. And then the interviewer asked him what is a dangling pointer. So guys here you should know the definition of all the four pointers. So I would suggest you to also prepare the definitions. So let's come back to our question which is what is the dangling pointer. So you can say like a pointer pointing to a memory location that has been deleted or freed is called a dangling pointer. And it usually occurs at the time of object destruction. And dangling pointer error can only be avoided just by initializing the pointer to a null value. So this definition will be helpful in your interview. So guys, as we know, Chandan also mentioned that he knows the fundamentals of Salesforce. So the next two questions interviewer asked him was, what is Salesforce? So guys, Salesforce is a CRM tool. And then the interviewer asked him how Salesforce is unique as compared to other CRM. And for now here, we will not discuss much about the Salesforce. So let's move towards our next question, which is what are the trending technologies? So the intention behind asking this question is they just wanted to know that you are really interested in IT sector and you are aware about the new technologies. So the trending technologies are machine learning, artificial intelligence, automation, cloud computing, blockchain and so on. So you can mention any one or two technologies from the given list and also give a brief definition along with the real life example of that particular technology. So this is how you can answer this question. So the next question interviewer asked him was what is SDLC? So in answer of this question you can give this definition which is software development life cycle or SDLC is a process used by software industry to design develop and test high quality software. The SDLC aims to produce a high quality software that meets or exceeds customer expectations, reaches completion within times and cost estimates. And in SDLC, there are six major stages, which are requirement analysis, design, implementation, testing, development and the maintenance. So this is how you can answer this question. So the next question was, what is the OOPS concept? So to answer this question, you can start by giving a small definition of object oriented programming and then you can specify that six major object oriented programming concept, which are object, class, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. After that, explain this concept with real life example. And here real life example are very important because when you tell the interviewer about these examples, then he became to know that you really know this concept and it's working. At that moment, you're not like those candidates who just memorize the definitions. So this real world example will add more credit in your selection. 
After that, the interviewer asked him, "Do you have a laptop? And what are its specification?" And at last, the interviewer asked, "Do you have any question for me?" So, guys, don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say, "No, I don't have any question," but you should ask question. because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask if i selected for the role then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video will help you in your interview preparation and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching